Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In October of 312 AD, the Roman contender for the imperial throne Constantine was fighting for supreme control of the empire in the imperial civil war of the 4th century. His forces were locked in brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat at Milvian Bridge in Rome, and it was becoming apparent that Constantine could lose. In desperation, he did something no Roman emperor had ever done before. He prayed to the god of that strange Jewish offshoot, Christianity. What followed would forever change the course of Western history. In this segment, let's go back to Constantine's prayer to Jesus Christ at the Battle of Milvian Bridge. Now, Rome's dominance in the first several hundred years of its imperial existence had begun to crumble. And by the fourth century AD, several powerful lords were jockeying for power over the empire. Constantine was one of these, and in the fall of 312, he did battle against the forces of Maxentius, his rival, in Rome. Sources are unconfirmed as to how it exactly happened, but at some point in the duration of the battle, Constantine, who had grown up following the ancient cult of the emperors and the pantheon of gods, prayed in vain to the Roman gods to grant him victory. Now, just before the battle began, Constantine, at least this is what the sources say, switched his allegiance when he saw a vision in the sky of the Cairo, the Greek shorthand for Christ from the first two Greek letters in Christ's name, and a popular Christian symbol in the ancient world, much like the cross today. He then heard a voice from heaven saying, in this sign, conquer. So Constantine ordered his soldiers to have the Cairo painted on their shields, and this is the first in a long line in Christendom of soldiers painting the Christian symbol on their armor. And sure enough, he defeated Maxentius at Milvian Bridge. Constantine then gained complete control of the empire, and sources indicate he converted to Christianity. One of his first executive decisions was to issue the Edict of Milan. This officially allowed Christianity in the empire, which before had formally been criminalized. It would not become the official state religion until Theodosius 60 years later, but with the legal protection and the emperor's stamp of approval, the Christian faith spread far and wide. Constantine then moved his imperial capital from Rome to the new Rome of Constantinople, which would become a bastion of Christendom for the next thousand years. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a moment in history.